Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and a brand new series which we're going to run till probably the start of FM18. Sort of, well, it's going to be a little bit more in depth than what I have done in the past. Like before, we've sort of just sort of jumped quite a bit and I've never sort of shown you my thought processes on a lot of stuff. So I thought we'll make a little bit of a longer episode, sort of longer sort of series, see how it goes. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, don't you don't have to watch it. It's entirely your choice. But this is sort of my way of playing FM more than anything. There's no right or wrong way. This is just the way I feel comfortable playing it and the way I've played it for the last 10, 15 odd years. I have no idea how long I've been playing it, to be honest. It's been a long time. So... As you can see, we're starting with Leon. I have no idea for a title or name of the series. I'm probably just going to do it with the name of the club. If you can think of a name, throw it in the comments. If you like the idea, hit the comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. So let's all get into this sort of go through. We're going to sort of break it up. We're not really going to do a lot in terms of gameplay this episode. Because we're going with Leon, we're, I'm... To be honest, I'll probably jump through all the friendlies late after sort of this episode. So we're at least back for the league. And now I can sort of go through properly sort of players I've signed, why I've signed them, the system I'm going, which I'm probably going to go through and touch into today. Which, like, we'll just jump into the normal mumbo jumbo, child. Yeah. <laughs> Ex Liverpool man. I didn't realise he was a direct. No, not the Jared Hulier I was thinking of. Completely different guy. Fitz plays into third tackle. Right, okay. He'll be gone soon. We'll go through like players, team, or we'll attend the meeting because what I do, I know the sort of things. We sort of see. It's not me. Once you sort of done it for a while, you sort of know. Click that one, that one, that one, and that one. And third players using the youth system. The club's youth system. Right, I misread that completely, but yeah, that's fine. No, I don't need to change that. I'm quite happy to do that. Press conference. Yes. I always say yes to the first one. Then I get my assistant to do all the rest of them. I don't bother with them. And now, hand the meeting. Yeah, that's fine. Long successful career. Gerard Batical? Right, okay. Are you actually any good? No. To be honest, you're getting replaced soon. Right. Okay, we skip that meeting. Right, fine. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't meant to do that, but oh well. Um, history, some of the leaguers, French Cup. Not a bad time. Excellent training, superb youth, so that's even better. Um, responsibilities, we're going to adjust all those now. Let's sort of jump into them. Responsibilities. First team. Handle team talks me. Handle off to me, that's fine. Handle press conferences. Assistant. Um, assistant or director of football can do that. And a ton of tunnel interviews, assistant, managers friendlies. I normally let my assistant do those because I don't. I'm sort of depends what if how many players I bring in. If I bring a load in, I'll sort of dabble in and sort of work out right how's he doing, so I just rolls that sort of thing. Um, personal assistant never normally change anything on this, but. Um, back home advice don't change under 19s as long as they play with my first team and tactics that's fine because that's what I'm training and general club stuff is basically just I do everything effectively so that's fine probably should show you my manager to be honest or just gone with the um, standard one then I just took out like goalkeeping and bumped it up working with youngsters which I always do motivating Determination and all that, so I just bump up. I get rid of adaptability because we're not moving around. And man management probably should be a bit higher, but not too fast, to be honest. Um, in terms of the database we're using, normal database. Um, where the add and remove leagues, we've got Belgium, uh, England, Germany, Holland, Italy, and Spain loaded. My computer's actually not that bad running that, to be honest. We've got 39,000 players to go through, so shouldn't be too, too bad in terms of that. 
terms of the team, I sort of had, had a quick flick through before starting the episode, and we've got some quality here. We've got um, big things we're gonna have to try and do is keep the peg, keep the key, and keep like Lacazette. Because Lacazette is all, also already wanted by Tottenham and Bayern. I'm assuming he doesn't have a release fee or anything. No, that's fine. He's got a three-year deal. That's fine. He's not going anywhere just yet. I didn't even realise we got Emmanuel Mana Mana in our defence. Like brilliant sound. We've got a solid centre back already. And one I know. As name same with Nicholas Enkelu. That's probably how you pronounce it, but we go with it. I'm probably gonna mess up everyone else's name at some point anyway. But overall we've got quite a quality team. We got Toulouse Tolisso. Looks like a very solid centre mid. Or um, defensive mid, to be honest, gets forward whenever possible. Defensive mid, not quite what I want. He's wanted though. Who's wanted him? Man City. No release fee. No, four year deal. Right. Actually, how much money do we even have? Six million. Okay, so we don't have a lot of room to strengthen if we do decide to strengthen. But by the look of the team, we actually got quite a good solid foundation to what, what we can start with. So. I pattern they want us to go with this sort of team, that's fine. I'm just quite actually happy to do that. Lopez is our number one. He's more of a goalkeeper, that's fine. Raphael, is that the that's the X-Man United Raphael? That's fine. I think Jalet's the um youngster who I was looking at. Enkelu's coming in. Yang Moiba? Who wants him? Leicester and Seville. Strong centre back, actually looks pretty decent, six foot tall. Is he left or right footed? Right footed. What's Enkelu? Is he left or right footed? He's right footed, both right footed, okay. So Mama Mana is going to be our backup. Left back looks like he could do some strengthening, to be honest. That looks like the area where we're probably going to have to bring someone in. Tolisso is our defensive mid. Sergio Dada. Quality player, he's going in. Who else do we have? Jordan Ferrier, Ferrier. He's going Ferrari. Stop it. Um, in terms of midfield, it's probably going to be him. Don't quite know what role. He's a box to box player or a ball winner. Let's go box to box and see if that helps him a bit. Dada's a deep line playmaker on support, so he can go like that. He's um. Apparently a Roman playmaker, but I don't really want to play one of those that deep at the minute. Not with two players sitting in front of him. Probably going to go a ball winner on defend to sort of have him sitting there. He's a stopper or a ball player. We'll go a ball player. And he's a cover. Should we go cover stopper for a change? Well, I don't normally play one of these. So we'll sort of see how it goes. He's on support. That's fine, Raphael. On attack, depends who I stick on the wings, which way around we go. We got the pay on the left, he's an inside forward. I know that. Oh, we'll stick him on support for now, we can change it up later. And on the right, who do we have for over there? The Keir, I reckon. And he is an inside forward as well. So we'll stick him on support, stick the pay on attack, sort of opposites. And same with our full backs, you can attack, you can support, that's fine. With Lacazette up top as a complete forward on attack, so that seems like a good option. It's actually not a bad squad to be honest. I'm actually quite pleased with what we've got. In terms of the um, bench, Mamana can come in, Cornet is a good player and recognise I have no idea how many subs you can have on the bench for um, the French League. But we'll work that out later on as we go along. Um, Yalet was a player. I sort of just bunged everyone on the bench for now. Because I have no idea. Sort of. My tech can just. Yeah, let's throw everyone on the bench. Abuena. I didn't even realise we have that Abuena. Good attacking midfielder. Probably on quite a bit of wages though. This is just OCD now, and I'm just sorting these out. Defensive mid, that's fine, you can go in there. Yep. Do more. 
Well, effectively, both other players switch him, that one and that one. That way, there, right, fine. Actually, not bad. So, we're going to probably start up. Should we start attacking? Yeah, we'll start attacking. Stay quite flexible. We're going to look for the overlap to push our fullbacks on. We're going to. What are we going to do? We're going to play out of defence because I don't really want to be hoofing the ball forward. Close him down a bit more. So I'll put him on the back foot. Potential keeper distribution that's always there. May as well click it. Um, we have a higher tempo because I want to be quick attacking. Run right at the fence is probably going to be good. Well, we'll just sort of stick with those for now. So we've just got a few in there. Let's play the ball out. We'll look for the overlap. We'll run at the defenders because for Kieran to pay, are just going to be cutting in all the time. See how they get on. And sort of give with that so we can adapt it as we go, guys. So in terms of what we expected, qualify for your Champions League, that's fine. Not important. And reach the group stages. Okay, we went to the group stages, so we met one but one target already, and we got to qualify for the Champions League. So, what season preview we're expected to finish third? So that's not too too bad, not too fussed about that. They got some very very strong teams in Monaco and PSG, and Marseille as well. To be honest, hmm, it's going to be an interesting season. Season to see how we get on against them. So we're expected to finish third, so that's not too too bad. Player wise, I'm gonna, probably going to look for a left back. So we'll have a quick scan and sort of see who's available. Natural at left back. Okay, let's. Um, who's transfer listed first? Ogunai. Not really. Okay, transfer list is not going to help us here. Anyone loan listed who could be a decent player to bring in for now and work on? To be honest, probably no. Jason Hubbard? No. No, to be honest, okay. Just going to have a look and see who we can attract, really. Is, which is the point. Is there any rules about nationality? Maximum of four non EU players, okay. That's something to keep in mind. And I think that's about it in terms of everything else. Everyone else is treated as EU, all nations in Africa, ex excluding. Okay. Except for all them. Nations treated as EU, all nations except for. Okay, so New Zealand, okay. Where the hell they are? Egypt, Libya, Uzbekistan. Where are they? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> so right. This seems not too bad. We don't have any too major. Do we have any e non EU players first? Cameroon's fine. Argentina, Brazil. So we've got two. Unless Rafael's got nationality. Oh, he's Portuguese, that's fine, he's part of the EU. Doesn't need one there. Mana Mana is a non-EU player so that's fine we've only got what Algeria I'm pretty sure Algeria was on the list of fine and he's part French that's fine okay so we've only got one so we can bring in some South Americans or something see what's going on there and so why am I clicking back so much so we're not sort of limited on that too much at the moment so we're fine there Saki hmm Trying to think of people, we don't have a lot of money, which is the issue, so I don't really want to go too far out my way. We could just see what we've got on our team. Our um, youth, Gaspar is right, but he's a right back. That's a bit of an annoyance. If he was left back, that would have been fine. Um, what's this guy? No, he's a bit too raw for what I like. Well, we might just have to deal with what we got and see how we get on. Hmm. Give me a case of probably just sort of seeing what we got and sort of going from there. 
not a bad option to be honest. And Wybus as a backup is actually pretty decent. Well rounded, I'll give him that. Unless we end up selling someone, I don't think we're really going to make much of a change in the team. I think it's relatively going to be the same as what we've started with, unless something big happens and someone goes. But I'm actually quite satisfied with the team. It's not something we cannot work with. So, yeah. It's going to be an interesting one. But this is sort of my first day whenever I get into a new save, it's sort of right, sort of tacked out, so where can we improve? And I've just noticed every, every player but Tolisso has a full circle <laughs> in terms of their preferred position, so that's even better. Wasn't expecting that. So get the tactic going, get in training that, learning it, so go through the team, so work out what players we need for where. Have a look at the coaching staff, because apparently we're quite short there. We can get two coaches in, because we're quite bad in terms of everything. Scouting, we're not too, too bad, so I can deal with that later on. Medical, we can definitely improve as well. I still don't know what this head of sports science is, or sports scientists do. They're not physios, so I don't really buy them. But yeah, we can definitely look at it. So who's our head of... That's me. That's fine. He's our assistant, who I'm probably going to end up replacing. Because... Those I quite like to be a lot higher. Coach, coach, coach. Head of youth, him. Is he any good? He's actually really decent. Potential, yes, fine. Yes, I'm actually quite happy with him. S Stefan Roch. Yeah, quite happy with him. Chief Scout, that's a head physio. That's actually not too bad, so I'm fine with that. Scout, head, scout. 16, 16. Yeah. Is our director of football? Okay, wrong person. Head is our chief scout, 1515. That's actually not too bad either, so I'm actually quite pleased with those. It's just this coaching team that I'm going to be focusing on. So I think we're going to probably just leave this here because we haven't really done a lot. It's sort of my background and where my brain works in terms of what we do. So I have a little think around, sort of work out what players we can put in where and sort of show you my thought process behind stuff so i'm going to go through now i won't bore you to death with doing like going for each individual player sort of setting each player's training up make sure they're training in the right position right tack not right tactic roll all that sort of stuff i'll let myself do that i'll scour the traps and mark because i spent hours just trolling through players trying to find ones that will match my system match um um, what I want to do and how I want to play So I'm probably going to jump back to that in the next episode. She'll go through what right, I look for this player I found this player looking for these sort of all that sort of little dinky stuff Which I think I'll spend probably now a Good two three hours just sort of going through players sort of working out who I can try and bring in who's An option and we're moving forward a little bit as well doing the friendlies players come available on the transfer market as well, so That's the sort of plan for going ahead so if you have enjoyed guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button let me know what you think of this new series down in the comments below and i'll see you next episode for probably going to come back to the first game do the uh, lorraine we're probably going to do this season quite slowly because i want to sort of show you how i can set up against different teams or how i work um, the team, the fitness and everything like that into everything so that seems like where I'm going to do it so I'm going to come back for the first game of the season then we'll probably do like Bordeaux group game, we'll do like a couple of games here then we'll do a little break we'll probably do like two or three games an episode depending on how quickly we roll and go from there guys so if you enjoy smash like button smash the subscribe button, I've done all this already but thank you for watching and I'll see you next episode guys